2024 Super Aeronautique G23. Coming in at jet black hull bottom, anthracite metal flake rear stripe, and haze gray main stripe. Pulling around to the back end, we're gonna get a good look at that telescoping tower in haze gray with anthracite accent. And then of course you have your nautique strapless board racks. Everybody loves the telescoping tower bimini on there. Uh, we have window tint on this thing. And the Chromax I believe is bright, or black Chromax, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's a sharp boat. Let's go ahead and uh, jump on inside and take a look at the interior of this brand new 2024 G23. 2024 Super Air Nautique G23. Starting back here on the transom, we'll go through scheme and then we'll get into the options. So uh, 2024, we have for this boat interior haze gray main with a haze gray interior deck. And then we have anthracite softmax as your texture. Um, right. Maybe not texture, maybe piping. And then your texture is the tungsten gray true weave. So good gray vibes in this boat. So as we walk in, first thing we see is the telescoping tower in haze gray. Um, and then we have our Nautique strapless board racks on that tower. Uh, and then the two pairs of JL 8.8s in those custom enclosures. And of course with the Bimini on the telescoping tower. So. Uh, walking in, take a look here at your storage in the back. Nice big compartments in the G. You've got your thruster motor there. Uh, the engine that we have in this G23. Surprise, it's the standard ZZ6 uh, 6.2 liter direct injection 450 by PCM. So. We got a powerhouse in here. Clean storage on the port side. Got your surf view seat here uh, that can move, uh, but it also has a nice sea deck pad for when you're just getting in and out. So storage throughout the boat. Everything is hinged. Everything matches. Everything looks great. Interior matching Chromax. Stitching on this boat we didn't mention uh, is the jet black stitching and jet black seat boxing. So, final touch. Oh, what's in the floor? Look at that, we got a cooler. Um, all your batteries, pumps, uh, all that good stuff in here. Uh, battery switch in there as well, but nice clean presentation in there. Tower controls for the telescoping tower up and down. Uh, you have lean back seating options there on the starboard side and here on the port side. So just go here, push that down, pull the seat up and you're locked in. Storage under the OB seat as well with your 12 inch sub trash can and amps and these nice looking dock lines. So jump into the helm seat. Definitely a beautiful looking seat here. All right, take a look, quick look at the screen. Uh, we've seen this one by now. Um, pretty straightforward. Main screen, you have your wave shapes, your courtesy options, plane assist, and your, uh, your vitals that kind of stay the same, or in the same location, I guess. Now we look at rudder position that comes with your steering assist. So this boat has the steering assist, a thruster. Um, so next page down, music, Bluetooth, AM, FM, all that good stuff, ballast. This boat is optioned with the supplemental ballast. So a total of, I think it's 3250 uh, on the on the ballast for this G. Uh, now that is supplemental, so accounting for the lack of people in the boat so it's not always needed depending on how many people you have on that said day next one through is your courtesy options courtesy lights docking lights all that good stuff seat heat 
And then we got our maps and settings. 1.4 hours on this G23. So, um, yeah. Horn, blower, anchor lights, uh, drain plug holder, phone holder. We got our wireless phone charger here. Helm command, complete control of the entire screen. So big feature that I think if you don't know about it, let us tell you about it, come on. Mirror here, new for 2024. It actually rotates anywhere you need it to rotate. Look at that, the old 360. We have wave front stereo on this boat, which includes an additional 12 inch sub as well as these amazing dash speakers that really complete the sound. I'd say it's just more of a surround sound uh, experience. Uh, here's your little door for the trash can there. Very, very convenient. Um, moving on to the bow, we have our pocket door, which if we want to use it, there you go. Don't have to worry about storing a removable wind dam. You've got it tucked away in the boat. So moving into the bow, nothing much has changed in the bow here. Uh, storage everywhere. We've got our fenders, fender pros, keep our cover under the starboard side. And this is also a removable seat with seat deck underneath, should you want to save the vinyl. But other than that, we got some window tint on the windows here. Um, but this is a nice look at our new 2024 Nautique G23. Enough of the interior. Let's go ahead and take a look at some running footage of this 2024 Nautique G23. Here's Colin in the 24G. Beautiful boat. See that uh, NCRS plate just keeping that bow super, super low. As well as through the corner, as you can see. Nice sharp turn in the G. That's gonna do it for us. Hit us up for more info on this beautiful 2024 G23. Thanks for watching.